Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about, I just woke up and I was, you know, posted my video last night before I went to bed and I'm scrolling through some of the comments and this guy says something really nice. This is going to be spoilers for this thing that I'm going to talk about with Kurt, uh, Colt Chucky. Sorry, I just woke up a little brain dead. Um, so yeah, I'm scrolling through and this guy's like, oh, there's a post credit sequence. And I'm like, no, there isn't. I fucking watched till the very end, till the credits rolled through just to make sure because Curse of Chucky had one and it was huge. It was Alex Vincent as Andy Barkley coming back and showing up and I freaked the fuck out. I was like, oh my God, it's Andy. Like we haven't seen him since the second movie. Well, that actor anyway. He's obviously comes back with a third different kid, uh, but you know what I mean. And so I was like, oh man, I wonder if there's going to be a big one on this one. And when there wasn't, I was like, ah, oh, bummer. Like there isn't one. And then I wake up to this and I'm like, wait, what? So I look on YouTube or I look on, you know, all over online, can't find anything. Then I look on YouTube and someone has like a shitty, like ripped off of their, you know, TV filming their television version of it. And, you know, here comes fucking Kyle from Child's Play 2. And I was just like, what? What? So I'm just pissed off. Like, I'm like, wait, I don't get it. So I go out to the mailbox because I ordered this and I watched it on Netflix last night because I didn't want to wait and I wanted to do the review as quick as I could. I had this pre-ordered for months. And as I said, other people had watched it because it leaked and people, you know, uh, torrented it. I don't torrent. If you do, that's your own business and, you know, whatever. But I'm sitting here like, I'm reading online and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. And I guess the only thing I can find is that on uh, Curse of Chucky, they said that they only put it on the unrated version and the Netflix version is the theatrical release. And I'm just like, I'm sitting here thinking, and it's, I did. I looked on here, and it is on here, but it's only on the unrated version. And when you press play on this thing, it just goes straight to the theatrical cut. So you actually have to go into the special features and put it on the unrated cut to get to it. Which the unrated cut on this is one minute shorter than the, you know, the R-rated version, should I say. It's not theatrical. It never went... Uh, so, not only is it a shorter movie, which I don't know what that means. I mean, I'll have to go watch this at some point. I will eventually. I'm not going to do it anytime soon. There's too much shit coming out in, in October. But it, I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed right now because I would have loved to have talked about that in my review. It's already up. There's nothing I can do. I mean, I can talk about it here, but I was kind of robbed of that. I and mean, when I saw Andy in the last one, I was so happy. I was so excited. And I waited last night like, this is so cool, this is so cool. And then I have to find out on a YouTube comment, which thank you for leaving that, by the way, just to let me know. But I have to find out on there that this happens. I mean, he does reveal what happens in it. And it's just like, like I didn't get to experience that. That would be like, you know, going to the bathroom during the Darth Vader scene in Empire Strikes Back and then coming back, not thinking you missed anything, and then someone in the parking lot being like, Oh yeah, you remember the part with the Darth Vader and the father thing? You'd be like, wait, what? Like, it would fucking ruin your experience. And this ruined my experience. Like, I got to see Kyle come back to this franchise in a shitty quality YouTube video because they didn't throw it on the end of the Netflix version. And I wanted to talk about it. I would have loved to have talked about that last night. I mean, there's nothing really much more I could say except for how cool it was this year. I did watch the, the Blu-ray version of it. I mean, Kyle's back. It's like 10 seconds long. Um, but man, I mean, it's fucking Kyle. And if what the last one did will be anything to, you know, play off of here, that means that we will get, uh, possibly, I mean, this movie way leaves it open for a part eight. And hopefully this is teasing that Kyle will be in it. Alex Vinson or Andy Barkley was in this one. 
a decent amount, not a bunch. I mean, he wasn't the lead, but he's not really an actor anymore. So it's, I get it that he's only in it a little bit. But to see an eighth one, I mean, I can pretty much guarantee we'll see Kyle. We will see Kyle if there's another one. So I hope that happens. Uh, it was great to see her. I'm very annoyed. and Because it kind of pisses me off, too, that like the people who torrented it are rewarded. And the people who actually waited and did it, you know, legally and, and the way you're supposed to weren't. Come on. Like, fuck that. So, yeah, as I said, I just woke up. I'm still in my shirt from last night when I recorded the video. I went straight to bed after it, and I woke up to this. So, anyway, that's my annoying rant about that.